Hello everyone, my name is Zenitsu and I'm back with another deck profile. Today is going to be a Danger World featuring the new archetype Dangerous Vegetables. So Dangerous Vegetables is kind of an interesting archetype in which they were made as an April Fool's joke into an actual archetype. What Dangerous Vegetables do is they're kind of like Link Dragon Order mixed with God Punks. So they have a passive effect that buffs all Dangerous Vegetables on your field, and then they have an Undestruct effect that disrupts the opponent. They're pretty interesting and good overall. As the buddy, we're going to be running Colonel Bell Pepper. Colonel Bell Pepper, you pay one gauge, he has a counteract ability. During your turn, call up to one Dangerous Vegetable other than Colonel Pepper from your drop by paying its call cost. This ability can only be used once per turn. And then, when this card attacks and destroys an opponent's monster, stand this card. He's pretty good at getting a, another Dangerous Vegetable back from your drop, so you could use both of its effects again. And he can help pick off and clear the opponent's field. So as such, we're running four of the Buddy. Next, we're going to be running four Lieutenant Eggplant. Lieutenant Eggplant is a pretty good vegetable in which all dangerous vegetables on your field cannot be rested by your opponent's card effects. That's really important because a lot of the good defense spells are rest spells. Making sure your dangerous vegetables can't get rested is very good. And then, when this card is destroyed, if your opponent has three or more cards in their hand, they drop a hand card. So that goes along with the theme of the God Punk level disruption. Next, we run four copies of Corporal Potato. Dangerous vegetable monsters on your field get plus 5,000 defense, and when this card is destroyed, draw a card. Pretty simple, but pretty effective. Next, we run four copies of Major Onion. Major Onion has a counteract ability during an attack on your opponent's turn if you have a dangerous vegetable on your field call this card from your hand and change the attack to this card and then when this card is destroyed during your opponent's turn rest one of your opponent's cards on the field he's just a pretty good defensive spell and he's a dangerous vegetable all in one next we run three copies of warrant officer pumpkin pumpkin's pretty good because his size gets reduced by one for each other dangerous vegetable monster on your field and then when this card is destroyed, put one of your opponent's cards in their gauge into the drop. So he attacks the gauge when he's destroyed. Next, for variety, we run one copy of Sergeant Major Carrot. So souls in dangerous vegetables on your field can't be dropped by your opponent's card effects. And then when this card is destroyed, he deals one damage to the opponent. He's more there for the size 3 card, because the size 3 card wants to have cards in its soul, and... If you manage to get cards in the soul of your others, so like if you use buddy option to just give a dangerous vegetable soul, it can't be dropped. Next, we run two copies of Lieutenant Colonel Tomato. He's pretty good because all dangerous vegetable monsters on your field get plus one crit, so he helps increase the damage output. And then when this card is destroyed, put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. So he helps increase damage and he helps increase your gauge. So he's just really solid. And then lastly, for the size 3, we're going to be running Strategic Arms Dangerous Vegin Curry. It's a size 3. Call cost is put 3 dangerous vegetable monsters with different names from your field into its soul and pay 2 gauge. And then abilities of this card can't be nullified by your opponent's card effects and you can't take damage by card effects so that part's really good because it's very easy to disrupt boards if you're not prepared so this card kind of like helps act as a good finisher to help get you prepared and make it so that your opponent can't just outright burn you to death and then on top of that this card gets all the abilities of all original size two or less dangerous vegetables in its soul so he's kind of like the king agito of dangerous vegetables which is pretty good when we have a certain field setup he has colonel tomato then all of his crit gets plus one his souls can't be dropped his attack power and defense power could be increased, a whole bunch of different effects. So he's just really good. And then at the start of your turn, you gain 10 life. That's just actually kind of crazy considering how defensive the deck can be and how offensive the deck can be at the same time because it has both Godpunk and Link Dragon Order elements. So gaining the 10 life 
is just a lot of life. Some opponents just might not be able to deal with that. And then on top of all of that, he has Penetrate, Triple Attack, and Soul Guard. So it's just a really beefy, big boss finisher kind of card. Next, we move on to the spells. We run four copies of It's So Delicious. Its cast cost is Destroy Dangerous Vegetable on your field, and then... At counter speed, you gain two life and draw two cards, and then you can only cast this once per turn. This card's pretty good because not only is it gaining you two life and drawing you two cards, it's procking one of your dangerous vegetables destroy triggers, which with Colonel Bell Pepper, we can always bring it back. So it's not like it's a huge loss. Next, we run four copies of Farm Fresh. You can only cast this card if you have a dangerous vegetable on your field. And then you get to look at the top four cards of your deck, put any number of dangerous vegetables among them with different names into your hand, and put the rest into your gauge. It's just really good at fishing for what you want and then gauging what you don't. Next, we run four copies of It's the Season for Fresh Veggies. It's cast cost is pay two life, which in this deck is nothing because we have multiple ways of gaining life back. And then you get to put up to one size three dangerous vegetable and up to one dangerous vegetable item from your deck into your hand and shuffle. The reason why we don't play so many of the big curry is because this card can tutor it out and it can also tutor out the item. Next, we run two copies of Demon Slay Dreadful Pressure. Counter, destroy a monster on your field, which with dangerous vegetables, that's what we'll want anyway. By destroying one monster on your field, if you do, put the top card of your deck into your gauge, gain one life, and draw one card. It's just really solid for what the deck is trying to do. Next, we run three copies of Burst Deity Calling Ritual. By paying one gauge and paying one life, we get a draw card. Then, if there's a weapon equipped, we draw an additional card. So most of the time, it's just a pay one gauge, pay one life, and draw two cards. Next, we run two copies of Time Sale. If you have three or less life, Time Sale's free. Otherwise, you have to pay two gauge and pay two life, and then you draw two cards. So it's just another way of drawing more cards. Next, we run one copy of Members Only Club. It's a set spell at the beginning of your opponent's main phase. Choose up to one of the following two. So your opponent either drops a hand card and you draw a card, or drop one of your opponent's gauge and put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. And then you can only have one of the set spell. This is just a really solid way of continuing the disruption on top of gaining you resources all at the same time. And it might be a god punk card, but it just works in any danger world deck. Next, we run four copies of the item, Pressure Gourmet Cooker. So it doesn't have an equip cost, which is pretty cool but it doesn't have any power or any crit. But that doesn't matter because it has two really good effects. One of its effects is Counteract. Destroy a dangerous vegetable monster on your field. If you do draw a card, you can only use it once per turn. That's really good because, again, it's procking all of the vegetables on destruction effects, and then it's gaining us resources on top of that. And then its other effect is Counter. Choose a dangerous vegetable on your field. You may put this card from your field into your drop zone if you do, you basically get to nullify its destruction, which is really good considering we run four items and we can cycle through the items considering they're free to equip, and it helps protect our field from being destroyed or disrupted, which matters a lot because it has, again, a lot of good offensive and defensive options. And then lastly, two copies of Lost World because we're drawing a whole lot, we're fishing through our decks a whole lot, we're disrupting the opponent while gaining resources all at the same time. So Lost World just kind of fits, and it's a good alternate win condition. So that's it for the main deck. So I do have some other cards you could possibly run in the deck. You could run Fang Dragon Declaration. This is just a really good spell nullifying spell for danger world. You could also run Leading Private Asparagus. The critical of all your dangerous vegetables can't be reduced, and then when this card is destroyed, drop a soul from the opponent's card on the field, which can also be pretty good. But I found Asparagus to be kind of situational, which is why I don't really like running him in the main. Then you could run some God Punk cards. With this one, if you have a weapon equipped, this card gets its size reduced by two, so it's Oh, it's size 1, so it helps fit into our formation of a whole bunch of size 1s. Other than during the opponent's start phase, when the number of cards the opponent has increases, your opponent chooses a card in their hand and drops it. So basically, anytime they were to draw, they have to lose a card also. So it's just really decent at picking away 
at the opponent's resources. Then you could run the Brawl Zeus. You could run either of them. They're mainly in there just to pick away at the opponent's resources as part of their cast cost. So they're both pretty good at doing their own separate things, and they're just both there as options to chip away at the opponent's resources. You could also run Super Onion Splash when it comes out. It's currently not out yet. For one life, you get to choose one of the following two. Put a dangerous vegetable monster from your drop zone back into your hand, which can be pretty good considering half the time we're sacking them and half the time they might just be dying in combat. Dangerous vegetables are always going to be in your drop. Or you can counter, choose a dangerous vegetable card on your field, for this turn, the next time it would get destroyed, it remains. So it's similar to the pressure cooker in which it has an ability where it just can nullify the destruction, essentially. You could also run the impact, must eat veggie hater annihilation cannon. This card, you can only cast it if your opponent has five life or less and you have a size three dangerous vegetable on your field. And then you pay two gauge and deal one damage to your opponent for each dangerous vegetable monster with different names in your drop zone. This supports having a whole bunch of different dangerous vegetables, and most of the time it's going to be dealing 5 plus damage just because we run so many different dangerous vegetable monsters. You could also run a wise move, because for paying 2 gauge, paying 2 life, you could basically get to call a size 1 monster from your drop zone by paying its call cost. Because we're putting dangerous vegetables into our drop zone a lot from our own effects, this is just a good way to get them back. And because we are gaining so much gauge and there's not exactly a whole lot of stuff to use gauge with, it's a good way just to use up some gauge. And then you could run Loyalty. Loyalty is just really good because it has a whole bunch of different options, either reducing damage you take by two, dropping the soul of a monster on the field, or its last option, which is its most important one, after your opponent called their third monster, they just can't call anymore. Then you could run Buddy Block, Buddy block is good for all of its options. So again, most of the time you're just going to be using its last option. If your opponent attacked four or more times, you just don't take any damage for the rest of the attack, or the next damage you take is reduced by three. Then you can run Recovery Veil. Uh, Recovery Veil you'd use mostly for the anti-hand hate. If they were to make you discard a card, you just discard Recovery Veil instead. But it also has its other ability of putting the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. So it has a whole bunch of different utility options, too. It's a really solid card. And then, like I said, you could also run Buddy Option. You could put this card into the soul of a card on your field, and all of its abilities can't be nullified by your opponent's card effects. So it's just another way to protect Curry, and if you really wanted to, you could use its other option to give plus 5,000 power and penetrate to a buddy, which your buddy is Colonel Pepper, and when a Colonel Pepper attacks and destroys an opponent's monster, you get to stand him. So buddy option and Colonel Pepper make for a really fun combination because it will be a 9,000 attack beater with critical, and it'll stand and itself up when it destroys a monster through combat and then the penetrate will deal the damage to the opponent it just has a whole bunch of different utility options and it's just a really strong card so that is my take on danger world dangerous veggies they're a pretty fun deck to play and they have a whole bunch of different ways that they can be played because danger world is getting more and more diverse and has more and more like good splashable cards for each of its other decks. So it's just a whole bunch of fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe for more Buddy Fight content, and I will see you in the next video. I wish everyone has a good Thanksgiving.